Okay, well, it's a pretty chilly morning. I'd say it's probably about five or six degrees out at the moment. And uh, we're going to try and start the LD1. And, uh, about a month and a half ago now, I reckon it must have been, I uh, did some work with it, changed the fuel filter, uh, flushed the sump through, and put new oil in it. And uh, I bled all the jet through and everything. And uh, the injector creep just doesn't sound right. Uh, although the engine does start, well, it did a month ago, uh, I reckon I could probably stall it quite easily. So uh, something's not quite right, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you that in the video today if it starts. But yeah, we'll go ahead and start it up, and uh, well, we'll just see what happens really. She is stone cold. See what happens, but you'll hear if, uh, if the wind isn't too bad on the camera. You should hear the eject creak as I start cranking it faster. You should hear that eject creak start to get less and less. Eventually, you can't hear it at all. Before, it was a nice, consistent pin, but now it's just off. So, I've done cycle on, and uh, hopefully, this video will show you today. Someone can tell me what I've got on. It's probably an airlock. It probably is an airlock in the lines, so uh, me and him will hopefully go through it at the next crank up and get it running properly. So, oh well, we'll see if she can go today. So you can hear the eject creep just isn't the same as it used to be.
have a smoke screen, that. Anyway, something clearly isn't right with the old thing. So, uh, hopefully, two pairs of hands can get it sorted. I really don't know a lot about diesels at all. First diesel station engine I've ever had. There we go. 